Welcome back to another unboxing. My name is Hafid. Uh, today there won't be much talking. I'm just not feeling the best. But I've been trying to explain some people what this unboxing actually means. So this is just a digital version of any unboxing video that is out there. I don't have a physical box, but I do have a folder that I have to decompress. You know, I give you my first impressions just like any other unboxing. And we also analyze if this product actually works right outside of the box. So if you're still with me, today we'll be unboxing unboxing the blend project file example from the content repository again these are motion graphics project examples from the x particle plugins for cinema 4d and so far we pretty much finished all the easy ones all the ones are just like you know a bunch of spheres just floating around interacting with each other but after this blending one i feel like we're about to get into some pretty heavy stuff like the flow fields the smokes some of these like custom burns and just like any other unboxing we're just going to look at the project now notes we have the title the compatibility and just the company signature this project example is compatible for cinema 4d from art 16 to art 23 x particles a95 and cycles 4d 509 so these are pretty recent versions of x particles and cycles 4d so make sure you do have those if you want to work on this project example the cinema 4d version is not really specific so i am assuming that you can run anything in between r16 and r23 but they are asking that you have the most recent versions of x particles and cycles 40. The second thing in the folder is just a render example of the project file and this is what I'm gonna use to refer and see if right outside of the box without changing any parameters, any dimensions, if my render is going to look the same as they advertised it. And finally, we have the project file itself. If you look in the objects panel, we have some branding by the company. We have a camera, XP system, and lighting environment. And again, because this is an unboxing, I wanna check that this works right outside of the box. So without changing anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and press play. Pause it maybe right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and open um, Cycles for the real-time preview. And for the moment of truth, this is the project render example and here is my render and there you go it, lo it looks pretty much the same thing obviously the dimensions are different and i am on a different frame they don't really specify which frame this took it on but i just rendered this on about 30 samples and i actually stopped it at about 20 because i didn't really need all of them and yeah once again it looks just as like they advertise it it works right out of the box okay so do i approve of this product so far yes thumbs up but the fun part is to see how this actually works so let's go ahead and start deconstructing the whole scene i go to the start of the animation get away from the camera just so we can see the whole thing and play it again stop it right there and as you can see this is what is making up our scene our animation has two lights what it seems to be six emitters and one camera i'll hide the camera and the light for now just so we can focus on the emitters i'll open up the xp system and as you can see we have some dynamics we definitely have a couple emitters working in there and for the modifiers we have a turbulence and the xp blend which i assume that this is just going to make that magic of either blending the colors or just the particle information i'm not sure so let's just go get with it i'll deactivate the modifiers for now as well as the dynamics and just start with the emitters as you can see we have one two three four five six emitters it bothers me that they have numbers but they are not in order so let me just change that real quick all right that's a bit better i just renamed it to orange and blue just so it makes a little bit more sense for me and let's just play the animation without the modifiers and the dynamic and there you have your emitters just colliding with each other but that really colliding because there's nothing happening to them and yeah that's pretty much the core of our animation just emitters going off against each other obviously they all have different colors and with those modifiers in place they will be blending and colliding with each other but right now there's nothing this is just the emitters let me go back and just check what these emitters are set on i'll start with the blue ones just because they're on the left obviously their shape is a circle the radius is blah 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 the emission mode is set to rate earth rate is 727 that's a weird number speed is a 61 radius of the particles is at 1.5 i just want to even up these numbers like can you do this for me thank you 60 all right nothing on extended data groups display well for the display we do have the color itself color mode doesn't have any parameters attached to it it only has a single color and that is that blue that you're seeing nothing on the questions no modifiers no editing nothing on the advance and that seems to be the same thing for the other emitters all right so six emitters pretty much at the same level just colliding with each other i assume that you can change the colors as well as the size of those particles <coughs> 
Oh man, my allergies are really kicking in. Okay, so that's pretty much with the emitter. So let's go ahead and activate the dynamics. And what we have here is an XP fluid effects set to fast, a set to velocity. And I think these are pretty much all the standard parameters once you activate it. So let's just go ahead and press play to see what that looks like. Our particles are colliding with each other now and the flow from the emitter seems to be a bit different. Let me try it again. As you can see, the particles are now moving. They're just not staying in that cylindrical form, at least for the big ones that I can see right now. You see, they're obviously now colliding with each other. They're reacting. So we got that working on now, but they're not really blending. So I think this XP fluid is just to give our particles a smoother motion. And the last thing that we're going to activate is just the modifiers. We have an XP turbulence and the XP blend. But for now, I'll just start with the turbulence. It's set to independent, the type is standard. The scale is about 35, frequency 100, and the strength is to 4. So let's see that. All right, pretty much the same thing. They're interacting with each other, they're colliding. So with this XP turbulence, now you can see the smaller particles actually moving around. If I deactivate it and play it back, the XP fluid dynamics were giving motion to the bigger particles. The smaller ones were pretty much in the same velocity path. So let's go back. I'll activate the turbulence once again. And as you can see, now they're moving. And now the other ones are also moving because of the fluid effects and also because of the turbulence. And we don't have any particle groups. So I don't know why the smaller ones are just not changing. But it's okay. I'm not here to explain because this is my first time opening it. So let's just go ahead and play around with this. And what it seems to be the cherry on top and where we get this project name from is this xp blend and before i activate it let's just look at the parameters on the object tab we can see that the mode is set to independent distance is set to 10 strength is set to 500 percent we got a max blend and a variation i'm not sure if those are the standard ones this is the first time that i actually use and see the xp blend there's nothing on the groups affected nor mapping not fall off so this seems to be a pretty basic pretty standard xp blend so let's go ahead and activate it go back and play it and as you can see this is how the project file was working when we first opened it and i think i kind of know how this is working so obviously it's blending the colors but as you can see we do have the collision of the particles but they're not just like scattering all over the map if i deactivate it you can see that they come to each other and then just explode everywhere right i'm not sure if this xp blend is also blending the velocity of those particles kind of like averaging up the collisions and i think what this also doing is just blending the color obviously but also and i'm not sure of this i think this is also blending the size of the particles and the velocity of the particles the xp blend doesn't really tell us how this is working okay so in contrast to traditional unboxings something that i'm gonna start doing in my videos is just opening up the x particles like actual manual and instructions just in case y'all want to see what it's all about and how it is working but it's also just going to help me so as you can see the blend modifier does come in the new release the newest version of x particles and it enables you to blend certain types of data between a particle and its adjacent particles if any and the particles can be from different modifiers so it does it certain types of data not only color so maybe my theory that it's also blending the velocity speed and the size and all that kind of stuff might be true and i think this is a snapshot of what the modifier looks like when you first open it so let's look at ours and ours our string was set to 500 and the max plane was set to 500 as well so it seems that the x particles product example actually is stronger and the maximal plane is longer that distance parameter means that anything less than that distance is what's actually going to blend those particles strength is obviously how much they're going to blend okay and here you go there's actually a parameters tab in the object tab that i'm missing so let's go ahead and check that out open up parameters and there you go they're blending the radius and the color and there isn't even an option of blending the speed or anything like that so i assume that everything just comes from the xp fluids and that the collisions are what is being set by this um, dynamics modifier and that was the last thing that i was missing it was just this parameters tag that is telling us that the radius and the color of all of those emitters and all those particles are just going to blend with each other okay so now it's time for some rendering i'll open up the real-time preview once again just attach it here on the side i'll go to my camera view and i'll just render that can't see anything because our lighting and environment are off that is pretty much the two lights that we saw at the beginning and then a sky object just to give us a dark background i'll activate the render again and i'll stop it at around 10 samples and at this point i'm thinking that this might only work with cycles 4d just because we're actually using the particle information obviously to blend the colors and the sizes so i feel like cycles 4d is going to be your best bet 
I am more comfortable with Octane Render, but I don't see a way that this is going to work with Octane. I have tried to put an Octane tag to the uh, particle emitters, and it does display the particles, but I think that because it doesn't have direct access to um, their particle information, as far as I know, Octane Render will display those particles, but not necessarily combine the colors and combine the sizes. But that's fine, because we're only dealing with spheres, and there's actually not a lot that you can do in regards to the materials and the text. I'm just going to go ahead and create this composition using Cycles 4D. I'm going to play around with the emitters and the color scheme, so I'll fast forward the video until I have something that, you know, I kind of like. Alright, so this is what I came up with. As you might know, today is the presidential elections here at the United States. And you probably only heard of the Red Republican and the Blue Democrat Party. But I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but I think we also have a yellow and a green party. So I didn't want it to just be red and blue, even though that's what's mostly going to be you know the main things but also because we we know already that red and blue is just going to give us that purple so i just wanted to add a bunch of different colors just so we can get for example this red and green so we can get an orange and the blue and the yellow we can get another shades of green and just the composition looks uh, just more interesting in general also as you can see i changed the emitters instead of being three against three i just did a set of four emitters just like spinning towards the center and that's where they're going to be combining just more just more towards the center i also added an extra light on the back as you can see over here it just gives us that not necessarily like, like a hair light on the composition but just because i didn't want that to just be really dark so i might just increase it even a little bit also for the emitters i changed the emission mode to hexagonal that's why all of them are pretty compact with each other that's what hexagonal does and according to your radius it will compress all those particles and that hexagonal emission based on the particle radius so the lower the particle radius and more particles are going to spawn and this might actually look better with even smaller particles just so you can see that blending effect even more but i don't want to waste too much time rendering that would just take too much to process and this is just something that you know i'm gonna post on instagram this is just like for fun just for me to try to understand the you know the basic principle and the last thing is that all of those particle emitters as you can see they all have the same size and that is because if i have for example the red and the yellow be bigger than the green and the blue they will not actually combine in the center and they will just push all all of the other ones aside and what i really wanted to happen is for that combination that blend to happen somewhat at the center also feel free to dm me on instagram if you have any questions you can also comment here in the youtube video but that is pretty much it for this unboxing i'll see you in the next video and hopefully i'm feeling a bit better thank you